I think the haematology workforce of the future will be very different from what it is now. I think uh, we've seen a huge change in, in my lifetime of um, the feminization, if that's the right word, from a very male dominated specialty, which was true of most areas in medicine, to, in haematology's case, um, more female doctors than males now, which is very welcome. Um, but that brings um, increased pressures because um, people want um, a work-life balance and many doctors want to work part-time. I think there'll be more part-time doctors, there'll be more um, specialists, there'll, there'll be a much more diverse workforce. We'll have specialist nursing staff, we already have that now. Uh, we'll have specialist um, pharmacists, we already have those now, but there'll be more of them. We'll have specialty doctors. We'll have maybe, maybe going back to GP, um, becoming GPs becoming involved in the hospital setting. Although GPs have got enough pressures of their own without trying to help out some of the pressures within the hospital system. I mean, I think there's a great uncertainty at the moment as to how the medical workforce is going. You know, are there going to be more hospital doctors? Are there going to be more primary care doctors? That is a huge issue to be resolved. The pressures at the moment are enormous on primary care. So that, in some respect, um, informs what might happen in the workforce. But I think it, whatever happens, it will be more diverse.